Hey everyone, welcome to another How to Webflow. In this video, I'm going to be answering Shazay, Shazabi's request for how to create a dark mode toggle. All right, here we go. Okay, so this should be a fairly quick tutorial on how to do a light and dark mode toggle. All right. So first thing I did was I added a toggle switch to my nav bar. Now you can either create the toggle switch from scratch using just regular div blocks and Webflow interactions, or you can just grab an animation from lottiefiles.com, which is what I did. And it looks like this. Yeah, very simple. Okay. So let's get to it. Uh, first thing I want to make sure is that everything that I want to change the color on has a class name. For example, the body has a class name. Um, let's see here. This, that's an image. Is that an image of text? Let me see here. This is just a, what is this? Let me look at all the settings. Logo.png. Okay. I'm guessing. Okay. Yeah. That's not live type. That's just a text. So, um, does this have a class name? Yeah. Brand. Okay. So I'll change that. Yeah. So it looks like everything here has a class name and I just need to refer the toggle interaction, the click interaction to the elements. All right. So now that's done. I'm going to go to the toggle switch and this is what's going to have the interaction. This is what's going to have the trigger. Okay. So I'm going to click on, on mouse, click start animation. And we're going to call this animation dark mode. Okay. So everything that happens in this timeline is changing everything to dark. So let's see here. First thing I want to target is the Lottie animation. So I'm going to go to, Add Lottie right here. Set this as initial state to zero because I want it to start here. And then I'm going to choose Lottie again. And the end state is going to be right about, yeah, uh, right about there. So 16%. So it looks like this. Simple. Done. All right. Now I need to start targeting all the other things on the page. Okay. For instance, I'm going to click on body and let's change the background color of body. So let's see here. Only oh, all elements with this class. So there should only be one class on this page with the name of body. So let's change the background to gray. No, there we go. That's a dark mode right there. We don't want it like all the way black. Just let me go something like this. Okay, cool. F1, F1, F1. Cool. We do that. And now we just go to town. We go on every single element and change the color. All right. So nav link. Just going to change text color. I'm going to put it down here for now. And this one will turn white. Let's go that much white. Okay, cool. And I'll add that here. And what else do we need to change? Uh, the brand. Let's see. Can I change the filter? All right, let me see if I change filter. Can I do an invert? I can. Cool. Invert 100. Easy. Let's see here. Main H1 plus text color. Drag it to the bottom. There we go. And change this to white. Let's look at what it looks like right now. Yeah. There we go. That's all we want. Right. And then just keep going with it, you know, plus, uh, and then text color, change the color. 
something like that. Move down. What else do we got? Is this using the same? Nope. We need to change the color of this. Uh, hopefully this will work. It's a rich, rich text. So let's see here. Text color. Bring it down. Ooh. Okay. So the problem with this one is we can't target the paragraphs inside of here because um, it's a rich text. So that's going to be tough. Okay. Um, it would probably need, need to be done with um, custom CSS from, from this point because it's um, a rich text element and it's dynamic. If I go here, big links, text color, change this to white. Awesome. And then let's see here. Footer links. Actually, this one's first. Logo footer. So as you can see what I'm doing, just rinse and repeat everything. Everything that needs to change needs to go one by one. You need to go one by one and change everything. This one right here. Why is it div block 27? That's not cool. Background color, bring it down. Something like this. Oh, I think it's F1. There you go. Now it doesn't look like F1 because, yeah, because, um, what you call it? It's in a symbol. So let's see what it looks like right now. Cool. Let's go ahead and keep going with this dark mode. Footer links. No, I want footer links. There we go. Plus text color. Change it to white. I think that's a border color too. So every style you need to make sure that you're changing. It looks like this has an underline, so I'm going to change that to white as well. Hmm, not sure why it's not changing, but huh. Text color white. How come this one isn't changing? It's interesting. Mm -hmm. Dark mode. Go down here. Open up footer. Click on this. Oh, it didn't change. Was it supposed to be F1? That's weird. Let's try that one. How come this body right here was F1? Oh, 1F. Okay. All right, we'll leave it like that. And there we go. There we go. That's dark mode. Okay. Now we just got to work backwards for light mode. And to do that, I think the easiest way to do that would be start animation, go to dark mode, but duplicate it. And let's remove this part because we already have a starting point for the Lottie animation. I'm going to rename this to light mode. And this Lottie will go back. To zero. Okay, so run backwards. Uh, body needs to go back to, let's say white. Link needs to go back to whatever this is already. So I'm just going to choose this, and so forth. The filter of brand. You can set the invert to zero. Yeah, I'm just going down, down the page. Project body. 
big link logo footer so I'm just resetting everything white footer links cool and small p cool all right so let's check it out dark mode light mode awesome done so that's how you do a toggle with light and dark mode well that's it for this tutorial uh, I hope these uh, video series are helping you with your future projects if they are please leave your links in the comments below so I can check them out uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Click on that button, then the like and the notification bell if you want to help support me. If you want to chat it up with me, I'm active on Twitter. I'm mainly talking about Webflow stuff anyways. Uh, follow me at the Pixel Geek. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, make the web beautiful together. See ya.